Are you tired of your old sleeping bag you've had for all these years that just don't work anymore? Are you looking for something small, compact, light, durable, but still affordable? You want to upgrade from this to this. Don't go away. Remember to click like and subscribe, follow the channel. This is the gear review of the First Ascent Amplify Light Down Sleeping Bag and the Thermal Liner. So it is winter time at the moment and having your old heavy rig not so warm sleeping bag just won't do. So you want to upgrade to something that is more user friendly for a situation for three season to four season. South Africa pretty much majority of our country is three season. I know more west and southwest it snows but it's not really a big four season country like for instance like the US and Europe. Although I've been to the UK before and the weather or actually the climate itself isn't really the same um, I remember I was in Southampton at the time it was winter and I was wearing a jersey and a jacket and it was snowing Here in South Africa as my father used to tell me the Transvaal called here we are is something different Your hands burn everything burns. I remember driving to school on the bicycle and when you get there your hands are stiff like this and the tips are burning the the, the transfer is a like burning cold it's not exactly the same so we might have three seasons majority of the country but the temperatures is completely something different and I suffer from something that, that is called winter under my fingers and my hands crack uh, especially during the winter here where I am at the moment is better than where I grew up but still the principle is the same and before I actually get into my review and my opinions about the sleeping bag a few specs about it now this is a down sleeping bag when it comes to sleeping bags you pretty much have two different varieties one is synthetic one is down synthetic is more built out of synthetic materials as where a down is pretty much made out of feathers if I'm, if I'm correct it would be goose feathers um, but just let me know in the description uh, but I think it is goose feathers which means it's lighter it uh, conceals or traps more heat it's a bit more expensive but everything I do is for the survival purpose tactical bug all those things which is one of the reasons I'm actually doing this channel so if you're going for smaller lighter better and space wise down is the way to go um, I was actually looking at a product but at the end it was about a little bit more expensive heavier and a little bit more bigger and the the comfort rating the the heat rating the temperature rating was more or less the same and I saved up a couple of bucks and I saw on the internet that outdoor warehouse where I bought mine had a special going on so I got my butt into car I drove luckily just before they actually closed and the special was over they had in stock and I bought the amplify down light and I'm very happy so the specs about it now it's the precision of the temperatures is debatable it's sometimes difficult because those of you who hike those of you who go outdoors and have an outdoor lifestyle will know that the weather and the climate and the conditions vary and that is actually variable on a lot of aspects but uh, they say that this is pretty much measured if you were wearing a pair of warm thermal clothing or something nice and long and on a 2.5 centimeter mattress but then again as I say conditions vary but if you compare the size wise of these old sleeping bags this is a comfort rating of 20 degrees and a risk of 8 degrees Celsius which is really not not that long of a sleeping bag but this was my old old camping sleeping bag which wasn't something I really actually hiked with but it was something I've had for many years now and if you use the comparison in size 
it's completely completely different and um, this weighing in at 1.3 kilograms this at 600 grams it's got half the volume double the temperature writing it's 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 an amazing upgrade actually now this isn't a let's call it an icebreaker where you use it up in the mountains and say for counting with Everest um, obviously not this is a three season sleeping bag but out in the field it worked really well so as I said the weighing at 600 grams um, the comfort rating is 90 degrees Celsius which is let's say it's still a spring to autumn uh, temperature and then obviously the transition which is like the middle rating which is pretty much recommended to use for permanently is five degrees celsius that is still quite cold temperature five degrees celsius and then the risk rating the or extreme rating is minus five which is actually one of the reasons that i bought this now the main reason i bought this was for the size and the temperature as it goes on, on my bunyard bag or for my outdoor expeditions and this is a made from the Microtex 500 fabric and it is a mummy style um, sleeping bag. Some things that I talk about I will try and add the photographs into the video for just to show you guys what I'm talking about. And for the price wise uh, in comparison to the temperature to the competition much better. Lighter, smaller and I really like the, the mummy especially with, with the hood. Uh, I sometimes, especially when I'm cold, I, I curl into the, the cuddle position and I pull everything into my neck. I will however get into the thermal liner at the end of the video, which is actually part and recommended for any sleeping bag. So yeah, that is really, really something that I'm glad I did. I had to make a 99 decision and I am glad that I went with my decision. Now this is made by First Ascent. And if I'm correct, First Ascent is a South African company, Paris South African, that's the main idea of this channel. It's especially to, to review products from Paris South African local companies. Um, I like, like supporting our economy, I support our companies here, and all of that. And they really, I am not sponsored out here by First Ascent, but I really would like to be. I am a fan of uh, their products and they actually create products which is in line of my lifestyle and what I do. So I will link to them as well into the description and maybe they will get in contact with me. But for a goose feather down sleeping bag and I've actually had this out in the field, literally into the bush. Uh, twice one was the last weekend I will add a link in the description or one of those link boxes and then about three weeks ago four weeks ago we went out for our first camping video and it was cold now three weeks ago that trip we actually slept in a small tent me and my friend each at our tent uh, I didn't have big isolation I slept in the tent on a tarp and I slept on an old sleeping bag and I actually injured my knee while running and training in that week and it got so cold that my knee started cramping from the cold but it was so cold that if you pull your thumb on the car it was about three mil thick of dough and ice on the car and the sleeping bags it was absolutely absolutely cold and most of that cold came from the ground and I learned a very big, les a very big lesson there and that was actually a very big test for the sleeping bag because at that time I had the sleeping bag with the thermal liner and I had like three pairs of socks, I had uh, thermal underwear um, thermal underwear is very important as well, I'll get to that in a second and I had two jackets on with a buff and I had one of those Russian whatever you call hats on and I was so 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 cold now that condition changed overnight completely and last weekend we went for a hiking trip, well actually not a hiking trip, it was more of a, well we did do a bit of hike but it was actually just an adventure camping under some pine trees and I made a big thick isolation and I w slept into my, um, my hiking, it's more like a, like a, I'm not, like a hammock tent which I had on the floor and I, I slept basically in the same conditions, thermals, shirt, jackets, socks with these two and on the app 
uh, I took my temperature about five o'clock in the morning, which is usually the coldest time of the morning, and it was five degrees Celsius. But that was set for Pretoria. I'm about I was at that time about 30 to 40 k's outside of town in the bushveld, which was a little bit colder though. But luckily there wasn't a lot of dough and harsh conditions like a few weeks ago, and I slept so comfortable. And it, it makes that five degrees or whatever because. Apparently, uh, water freezes at zero degrees, and please let me know if I'm correct or if I'm wrong. Now, so three weeks ago, it was below zero. It was like really cold because the water out in the coffee pot had frozen overnight. So it was really cold. And then last week, it wasn't. So everything was still um, not frozen. It, it's just really in nice conditions. And that was supposed to be my, my review video. But the next morning was Sunday, and it was so rushed, we had to get home for for church and for family dinner after that so it was a rush for time and i didn't really get into the review like i did and i felt i didn't do the review justice so that's why i'm doing this and it was really 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 nice i remember sleeping and sit i love the down and usually i sleep with a lot of blankets and device i like the, the heavy weight but the mummy shape just keeps the, 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 the heat inside and since it's so soft you just cuddle so nice with it and I had also had my, my beanie thing on and I had the, 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 the hood from the sleeping bag and from the liner over and I remember pulling it because it's got the strings here by the, by, by the hood on the sleeping bag and I pulled it tight and everything was just so tight and I slept like a, like a real mummy which really was so nice and I am really happy that I actually bought this for my vinyl bag. It was so, so nice. For those of you who don't know, is that thermal clothing works with basically as layers. Now, the thermal liner is pretty much the same thing. And I love how the thermal liner is gray. Uh, usually the other ones is the same color as, as the cover, the green, I, the orange. I really don't like this orange. I like the gray. Since I use this as a uh, paper survival, I want everything to be pretty much a natural or neutral color. But they do the orange especially for visibility in low light. But that's fine, that's, that's not really an issue. And also like the compression sack, if you look at these old type sleeping bags, it's just loose and fat. And these ones actually has the compression straps and because it has the compression straps, I clip it nice and tight onto my bug out bag. I will leave a photograph for you as an example. Now the thermal liner and the thermal clothing works very nice because usually you, you you dress in layers and that layers um, keeps the it, it captures the heat from your body inside in the middle and it, it holds that body heat which is also the design of the mummy type sleeping bag and the liner is pretty much and the same as the thermal clothing is made from a this is made from thermalite this is the um, plus fifteen hundred uh, thermal liner. And basically, if you guys know what a second skin is, or those thermal clothing, those tight compression clothing, it pretty much works the same as that, and that makes a really big difference. Now, there's always a debate about the sleeping bag liners, and that is, does it really keep or add that much of warmth to your sleeping bag? Now, it says uh, plus 15. This is also the one from first and second. This is the Thermalite plus 15, and weighing at 325 grams plus 600 so just just under a kilogram for a lot of heat in comparison to 1.3 kilograms and weight size wise that's the second actually just throw away really 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 nice it's it's a good upgrade if you do expeditions where it's really extremely cold i know like places like uh, sutherland and west of the country it do snow in the winter um, then i would recommend something bigger and warmer but the debate about do these thermal liners really add 15 degrees Celsius to your sleeping bag out of experience and ask anyone who has gone hiking and used this a lot I don't think you can do that you can't say it. I mean why would they how can someone just add 15 Celsius degrees Celsius to your sleeping bag it doesn't work like that it, it's it's not unrealistic but the main reason we actually and everyone and most people actually do buy a thermal liner and I would recommend doing this with your sleeping bag is to protect it from the inside. Um, I've actually slept with, with boots, not in, in this setup, but with previous setups, I've slept with boots inside my sleeping bag. And 
it scrapes and sound. No, it, it really, the main purpose of the liner is actually to protect your sleeping bag from the inside. But it does add some warmth to your sleeping bag. As I said, it gives you those extra layers where you inside your sleeping bag and you can actually do that. So, um, for anyone, especially if you buy a quality sleeping bag like this, put in some extra cash and buy a thermal liner as well. And I would really like to take this out into extreme, extreme conditions, like I did three weeks ago, but I don't really need to. I think it speaks for itself. Three season sleeping bag, small, compact, worth the money, most definitely. And you can actually buy these from uh, the Sportsman's Warehouse Outdoor Warehouse Company. I, I'm not sure, but I think they are affiliated with First Ascent. Quality South African product, value for your money, worth the size and weight, definitely a thumbs up for this. So I hope this actually helped you guys. Um, if there's anything else that you'd like to know or review, or any company that'd like me to review stuff for them, get in contact with me. I would be love. I would love to to um, have a partnership with you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped. Goodbye.